I received a question via email last night. Great question. Somebody wanted to know what is the latest invoice date, which I have in column B. That would be the max function, but they want to know what's the latest invoice date for each client, which is over in column A. So I just listed three companies that are based in Georgia, and I listed them all twice. So we have Delta, Home Depot, and Coca-Cola Company. I'm Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do this. So I would select all your companies or clients and copy them. I'm going to go to D1 and paste them. And then I need to get rid of the duplicates because I just need unique values. So I'm going to go to the Data tab. And in the Data Tools group is Remove Duplicates. Perfect. Click OK. Click OK. There are my three unique clients listed right here. Now, to find out the earliest, I'm sorry, the latest invoice date for each one, I'm going to just label this latest date. I'm going to write an if statement, but I'm also going to use the max function. This will be an array function, so it simply equals max if I'm going to select A2 to A7. I need to make that absolute reference because I'm going to end up auto-filling down. I'm going to press the F4 function key just one time. If you're on a laptop, it may be the function key plus F4. I'm going to say if A2 to A7 equals D2, I'm still in the if part of my statement because it's in bold logical tests. So if A2 to A7 equals D2, comma, value of true, I'm going to select the invoice dates. B2 through B7. Again, I'm going to press the F4 function key for absolute reference. That is it. There is no false. I'm going to close the parent. Now, to do, to do the array function, so my formula is perfect. To do the array function, you've got to use the keyboard. The mouse will not work. Control, Shift, Enter. It put in the open and close brace at the end if you look up in my formula bar. I ended up with 43,516. If I've said it once, I've said it 250 million times. Dates are numbers, so just go make this a short date. Crosshairs, autofill, pull down. There we go. Let's go test it. I'm going to go over here and do a quick sort, data sort. Let's sort by client first, add a level, invoice date. I don't want oldest to newest. I want newest to oldest, just, just to check this. Coca-Cola, January 17th. January 17th, Home Depot is 214. 214, Delta Airlines is 220. Delta Airlines is 220. So that is how you figure out the latest invoice date or whatever date it could be a purchase order date order date by each client or by each group I used absolute reference in the formula and I also had to make it an array function which is control shift enter feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel that was a great question that I was emailed I appreciate it everyone have a wonderful day